In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the new Scarlet app on your iOS device to sideload any apps you want on any iOS version. With this method, you simply require a computer for the first step, but after that, you do not require any sort of computer. Anyways, the first thing you guys are going to do is hop on your computer and go to this GitHub page, which will be linked down below. And from here, you're just going to scroll down until you see assets. And then you're just going to click on this little arrow over here to extend it. And from here, if you guys are on Mac, click on the DMG file. And then for Windows, you're going to need to click on the MSI file. So you guys are just going to click on the MSI file here. And obviously, if you are on the M series, then you would click on a arc, which means Apple Architecture 64. And the other one is just Intel Architecture 64. And also another thing I do want to preface is you also will have to go to the side store website just to download iTunes and download iCloud as well. Make sure that those are installed or else you may get some errors authenticating. But anyways, what you guys are going to do from here is just ensure that you guys have your iTunes set up. That's the main thing. So make sure that you guys do set up your iTunes. I've already done that. And what you guys are going to do is just click on the MSI file here. And then you'll get a pop up saying Windows protected your PC. Just click on more info and click on run anyway. And then it'll say, welcome to the Scarlet computer setup wizard. Just click on next, click on next, click on install, click on yes. And just click on finish and make sure that launch Scarlet computer is in fact on. And now, as you guys can see, this is the interface for Scarlet cloud. And this window should be popping up. So what you guys are going to do now is just connect your device so i'm just gonna take this out here and then as you guys can see my iphone is here so just select that here and now we have to click on this icon in the top corner but first make sure that itunes is in fact open and running in the back and also you guys should be opening up icloud as well so you can just click open icloud settings and then just tab out of that and now that both are in fact open, you guys are just going to need to click on this icon in the top right, click add account. And then here you're just going to enter in your Apple ID and password. Trust me, this is safe and is a similar process to how Sideloli and All Store work. So it is a trusted way to do it. And as you guys can see, my Apple ID is now here. So what we have to do now is just we can just click exit off of here because we now have the certificate. So make sure that your device is now on and it is unlocked and you're just going to click on install Scarlet. And if you guys face any error here, which you might just make sure that you just close out of Scarlet Cloud and reopen it. And once you guys reopen Scarlet Cloud, what you guys need to do is just reselect your device. And once you guys reselect your device, you're just going to click on install Scarlet here. And you guys will see the loading bar over here. It may take some time, but just let it keep going. And at this point, if you guys look over at your phone, you should see your Scarlet cloud and it works just like it is intended to. So now we need to head over to the phone. And once you're on your phone, if you guys try opening up Scarlet, it'll say untrusted developer. So what we have to do is go into settings. You're going to go into general, scroll down until VPN device management, and you should see your email here under developer app. You're going to click on that, click on trust, and then click on allow. And now, as you guys can see, your Apple ID has been trusted. And so now you guys can just swipe out, go back to Scarlet. And now you're just going to open up Scarlet and then you'll see allow Scarlet to find devices on local networks. You guys can click allow if you want. It doesn't really matter. And then you guys can allow notifications as well. I'm going to click allow. And now as you guys can see, Scarlet has loaded. You have a bunch of preloaded apps that you guys can download. You guys can do anything you want. And before we do that, what's really important is we first add our Apple ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the download icon in the middle here. And what you guys are going to do is in the top right, long press on this icon here. And now you're going to need to sign in. And so make sure that your device is still connected as you're signing in. But then after you guys can change that. 
And now once your Apple ID has been added, you guys can disconnect your device. And to ensure that our Apple ID has been connected, you guys can just long press on the download icon here. And instead of sign in, it'll now say sign out. And if you guys click on manage certs, you guys will see your iPhone developer certificate with your email address and it'll say signed and it'll also give you the expiry as well. Now, what we need to do is essentially get wire guards so then we ensure that there's no revokes and you guys can do refreshing on your iPhone without using your computer. So what we're going to need to do is go back to the GitHub link that we used on the computer. And I'll leave a link for this in the description as well. So you guys can just click on that in the link in the description. You're going to scroll down until you guys see WireGuard download link. Click on it. And now we just have to click install. So just click on the little cloud here and we're going to go back into the GitHub, go to assets. And once we extend the assets, we will need to download the EMP file here click on that, click download. And while that's downloading, the WireGuard app should have downloaded. So just click on open, click on the plus icon here, create from file or archive. And now you guys should see your EMP files. So I have multiple EMP files because I've done this multiple times. You guys should only really have one and it should automatically pop up in your recents. If it doesn't, then just go to downloads and locate it from there. So I'm just gonna click on the latest EMP file. It will need to install VPN configurations. So click on yes, put in your passcode. And now, as you guys can see, the EMP on slash off toggle is here. And so pretty much we're only going to turn the switch on if you guys are installing IPAs or refreshing. And that's key. And on that note, I'll be showing you guys how to get any IP on your iOS device using Scarlet and how to refresh. So first things first, like I mentioned, since we are installing IPAs and refreshing, we're going to make sure that the WireGuard config is on. And now you guys are going to go back to Scarlet. And I do want to preface one thing. If you guys get any error in the upcoming steps, just make sure that you guys turn off EMP in WireGuard and then fully close Scarlet out of the app switcher go back into WireGuard and wait a few seconds to turn it on and then try again. Anyways, what you guys are going to do is you guys can just click on the top right icon or long press and then click on saddle IPA. It doesn't make a difference. And for this video, I'm going to be using old OS. And if you guys want to get iOS 4 on your iOS device as well, I'll leave a video in the top right that shows you exactly how to get the old OS IPA on your iPhone. Anyways, I'm just going to click on the IPA file here. And so as you guys can see, I got the error can siloed searching for Wi-Fi devices. So what you guys are going to do with this is you're essentially going to full close Scarlet, go into WireGuard, turn it off, and then you're just going to wait two to three seconds, turn it back on. You should see your VPN logo in the top. And now you guys are just going to go back into Scarlet. You're just going to click on this again, click on the IPA here. And then you'll see the IPA obviously here, give it time. And by this point, if you guys swipe out, you guys should see the old OS app. Just give it a second. Once it gets to 80, it starts downloading. And as you guys can see, old OS is in fact downloading and uh, yeah, if you guys just stay on the Scarlet app, then you will notice at 89% the Scarlet downloading pop up just ends up disappearing. And once that does disappear, then that means that you have in fact downloaded your app. And so as you guys can see, you can just click on the app here and then click allow. And you guys can get iOS 4 on your device. And this is an IP that we sideloaded. Now, if you guys want to refresh any one of your apps, then all you guys really have to do is just go back into Scarlet. And then in Scarlet, you're just going to click on the app that you want to refresh. And as you guys can see, since I just sideloaded this app, it has an expiration of seven days. And if you guys want to refresh, you guys are just going to click the refresh over here. And remember that every seven days or earlier, you have to refresh again, making sure that EMP is toggled on. And also there is only a three app limit. 
If you guys want a video on how to get rid of the three app limit, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I do make that video. Also, if you guys have had any errors with Scarlet Cloud, which I've had so many and I found so many fixes to it, leave it down in the comments below and I'll try my best to make a video on it. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.